tell you something about my life real quick. 2015 was the first, was the worst financial season of my musical career. Everything I worked on failed. All my deals I had on the table went away. A lot of things that looked promising went away. And it affected me financially. And I was not prepared for it. And you know, you start looking, fellas, you know how we do it. It's like, man, what am I doing wrong, man? You know, you know, you know what I do wrong? Is there some, is some sin I haven't confessed? Is there something not right? And I, and I went through all of that, you know, depression and crying and all of that. And man, I want to tell all my soldiers in here, a lot of times when wrong stuff hits you, it's not because you did something wrong. Often it can be because you're doing something right. Job. Because he was doing something right. Many men in God's work could have been doing something right. Do not let the enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. And to isolate you to thinking that it's just you. Paul says there's no temptation that is coming to you that is not common to man. Everybody go through. And so I'm sitting there and wifey, like after 17 years of us living at the same home, 17 years she said, baby, you know, because Tammy never asked me for nothing. I mean, Tammy's a soldier. Whatever Tammy got, it's because I, I just bought it as a gift. Whatever she has, Tammy ain't Hollywood, boo whoop de whoop Tammy is straight Tarjay. She's a Tarjay girl. Tarjay all day. Now, she's staying there too long. That's my soldier. And she asked me, she asked her man, baby, you know, that's we could get another house. We lived in 17, I'd like another house. She didn't care what kind of house. And once you want another house, and I got my girl a house. Same year that all this stuff happened. So now I'm embarrassed in front of my girl. You know, fellas, it's easy when we can hide the financial problem. You know, so you know, you take her, you know, but don't worry about it. I got it, I got it, I got it. But when she see it too, you can't hide it. And every woman in here, you need to know that when your man faces that type of financial challenge, it is the most embarrassing, paralyzing thing that your man can ever go through. Because he doesn't have the power to fix it. And men are built to fix it. And when we can't fix it, it is the scariest place ever. Fellas, gotta get a witness. So, I'm sitting there, brothers, embarrassed in front of my girl, because I can't fix this. A CPA was coming over the same day I'm telling you about, because I had some bills that she had to go over with me. I mean, because you can't rebuke the bills. <laughs> I rebuke you, Carno. <laughs> They're taking your whip. And the words. While they're speaking. So I'm sitting there with my girl, my CPA, and we're going over the bills, and every bill she's going over, because I'm self employed. So, you know, I gotta keep payroll going for the whole crew, but money ain't coming in. I gotta do it out of my personal money. Man. You know, I'm like, Jesus, you said you're gonna take the wheel. And I'm taking the wheel, and I'm sitting there, and I'm grabbing my girl's hand, because I'm embarrassed, and I'm having anxiety attacks. And dudes, just like that, God threw a song in my gut. I've had God give me many songs in some incredible ways. I've never had the Lord give me a song like this. I'm sitting there, I jumped up from the table and ran to the piano. I sat at the piano. I said, Jesus, please mention my name when you talk to your father today. Life down here feels so strange and my brokenness is in the way. I'm not that good. Don't pray like I should. Yet I'm amazed you get me through. He sees me, but he hears you. He intercedes for me, protects me from things that seem right between God and me. He intercedes. For me, see, he's taking up for me for what I shall yet be, and soon the whole world 
Now they'll see that he intercedes. He intercedes for me. That's why I need you. Can't live without you. Oh, chop, chop, oh, chop. Say, say, he intercedes for me. Protects me from things not seen. Right between God and me, I give you the words. He in the seats for me. He in the seats for me. Protects me from things unseen. Right between God and me. He in the seats for me. He's taking love. From for what I shall own yet me soon the whole world yeah will see the intercede for me that's how I need you need you you I've been struggling with this kidney problem for far too long I need you I'm ready for it to be over, but I'm standing in the need with you. Help yeah, me to stand strong and take on, Lord. I need you. Yeah, yeah. You in a seat for me. Protect me from what I can't see. Yes, I will. Right between you and me, Lord. You will for me. That's what I need. You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I can't make it on my own, oh no, my Lord. I need you. Yes, I do. I need you. I gotta go to dialysis tomorrow. But I still need you. Yes, I do, yeah. What the machine can do, you're struggling to do. Yes, you are, Jesus. You're in the scene for me. Listen. Listen, Jacksonville. Listen, I do not want to emotionalize a moment that really needs the presence of God. This is not about to try to make y'all shout and go in. This is about a body of believers that will help me for a second join together and with the power that we don't have, that God only has, let's reach out to heaven and appeal on behalf of our brother Jojo that God do what we cannot do. That God do what no other man can do. Let's don't pimp this moment. Let's don't emotionalize it. Let's walk in the spirit. Let's stay in the spirit. Because we can only hear from God in the spirit. I'm asking everyone on your own right now to pray. Stretch a hand, touch someone, grab someone, whatever the Holy Spirit is leading you to do. I'm asking you on your own right now to pray. Because it could be you. It could be you.
Jesus, I'm only going to ask you and turn it in heaven for three words. Three words, Lord. Please heal and thank you. Please heal and thank you. Please. That shows our humility. And then we say heal because we're being specific. And then we say thank you because that shows our faith. That means that we're saying it before we see it. Because without faith, it is impossible to please you. Say it with me. Please heal. Thank you. Please heal. Thank you. Please heal. Thank you. God, that's all we have to give you. We are weak, but you are strong. That's all we have, Jesus. And we thank you that when we don't know what else to say, the Holy Spirit steps in and interprets our groans. And we can walk in faith and not by sight. And if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, that's enough to make you smile. In your strong name. Amen.